Your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, flurries and snow showers continue across the area, though the greatest concentration is down here southeast of Lafayette. They're all kind of pivoting off to the east and the northeast. And I noticed still some flurries in Lafayette proper, but some pretty good snow here in Clinton County, down in Montgomery, Boone, and also parts of Howard and Tipton County. So if you're headed down towards Indianapolis this evening, be aware of slick spots on roads. And even in the north, even though these are just flurries scattered about, there'll be some slick spots up here too after the snow showers today. There are still a few snow showers and flurries upstream, but the back edge is near Peoria, and that'll come through this evening, and then we'll actually get some clearing skies as we get into the overnight. This blue is a winter storm watch. Here's the viewing area. There's the winter storm watch. Pink, it's a winter storm warning. This is a huge winter storm that will affect our area once we get into Thursday evening and Thursday night, and it goes all the way back to California with the winter weather issues. We're going to miss the worst of it, but still, this is going to be a, a pretty substantial winter weather event for the area as the roads slicken up Thursday evening. Cold air is coming in. Notice the minus four right now at Minot, North Dakota, but it's 76 at Brownsville. Cold air is coming in, and as we throw the warm air on top of it, you get a widespread area of mixed wintry precip. A few flurries downtown, still overcast, but tonight, though, as the skies clear out and we drop into the single digits, wind chills down to minus 12. We get the wintry weather coming in Thursday evening. And then once we get into late Thursday night, Friday morning, it'll all go to just patchy light rain and drizzle as temps rise. For tonight, though, it's going to be a cold one down to 8 by 6 a.m. And notice the wind chill as low as 12 below zero by 6 a.m. And tomorrow morning, 7 at 8, wind chill minus 12. And notice size only in the low to mid 20s. Wind chills, single digits all day. And they're the single digits for our lows tonight. 6 Monticello, Rensselaer, 7 Lafayette, 7 Attica. And tomorrow, low to mid 20s area wide, 24 Lafayette, 23 Monticello, and only 24 Frankfurt. Thursday will be 25 to 30. And that is as, as cold as it will be uh, anytime Thursday night. These readings will actually start to rise and will rise above freezing by early Friday morning. So here we go. Clouds clear tonight, single digits. But here's the winter storm approaching from the southwest. This is 5 a.m. Thursday. And finally, this is 3 p.m. And finally, once we get into the evening, some snow and sleet, a little freezing rain will start to come into our southwest counties. And I think after 5 p.m., we're fair game for some of the wintry precip to start to come in as the storm moves off to the northeast. It may start out as snow and sleet, but we'll probably see a, tra a change over to freezing rain and eventually as temps rise to all rain. But before it's all said and done, Generally, one to three inches of snow and sleet, and perhaps a tenth of an inch of glazed ice from this, with the heaviest snow, certainly northwest and west of here, wherever a foot will fall, Iowa, out towards Nebraska. But the next storm after that, coming up on Monday, that will not be a snow or ice maker. That's just going to be rain as temperatures rise into the upper 40s. 70 forecast. Once we get past 5 o'clock Thursday evening, snow, sleet, freezing rain overspreads the entire area. Our temperatures rise Thursday night to 38, and then we'll get a little rain before it ends finally on Friday, and then just rain, plain old rain on Monday with 47. So the roads will slicken up Thursday evening, Thursday night, but Friday morning will be a lot better as the temperature continues to rise. Boy, this is when winter <laughs> just seems the longest. Oh, it does. It? This February seems very long, and I, I don't see any major warm weather up to about March the 5th. That's the bad news, but it's coming. Okay, you're pretty good at benchmarking, so yeah. we'll put that on the calendar. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks Kat. Kat. Up next, the proposal.